All right, guys, it is time to talk about how to set up N8N for use in your automations. There are three ways to do this, and I'm gonna cover all three, but there's really one that I recommend more, although there is an, another option that might be very attractive to some of you as well. So we're gonna talk about all three and figure out which one is probably best for you in your use case and how to get started. The three options are going directly with the software as a service or SaaS online cloud version of N8N which has its own subscription associated with it. The second option is to uh, host it locally on your own computer because N8N is open source and can be just used on your computer. The third option is a kind of blend of the two where you purchase your own server space and then self-host N8N on that server. And so let's walk through each of them one by one. All right, for starters, this is n8n.io. This is the SaaS version or software as a service uh, version of n8n. And it's okay. Like um, there, there's a lot I can do. This is probably in terms of functionality, the most capable version because there are certain things you, that you can do with it that are gonna be a little bit more up to date. You're gonna have a better support system, stuff like that. However, there's a big problem with this one and that is the pricing. So if you look at monthly pricing, it's gonna be at least $24 a month for the starter version. And honestly, if you're taking this stuff seriously, you'll probably actually need the pro version, which is $60 a month. Although you could probably get by with the starter. Uh, but regardless, this is, a very expensive option. And there are other options that are a little bit better for most authors. Uh, that said, if you want to go with this, you just go ahead and click on the plan you want and say start a free trial, and then just walk through the steps. It's a regular, normal sign up process. I don't feel like I have to show it all to you. You just go through that process and then you'll be in N8N in no time and be able to get started. And the reason I would recommend this one is really only in a couple of use cases. The first is if you have the money and want probably the simplest, most seamless solution to get started with the least amount of tech involved, this is probably the best one. The other reason that I might suggest using this is if you have a really complex business where you need lots of people to be uh, in involved in the process, lots of admins, lots of people helping you build the automations and stuff like that for really complex systems, you probably want something a little bit more robust like this. But that said, I really don't think that most authors are in that camp and most of us just want something that is cheap and affordable and will get the job done. So with that said, let's talk about the second option that we have available to us. And that second option is hosting it locally on your actual computer. Now, the biggest advantage to this is obviously that it is actually free to do. There is no ongoing cost to hosting N8N on your computer. There are some disadvantages, however, to doing this. The first is it's kind of technical to set up. I'll walk you through it in a second. The second is that it is not an always on system. What that means is if you have automations that need to run automatically, at, say like during the night or while you're out traveling or something like that, it can't do that if your computer is shut down. So your computer must be connected to the internet in order to interact with the internet in any kind of way. And that can just be a problem if you have things that need to be automated outside of you know, you're actually using and interacting with it. For instance, I have some automations that go through my emails as they come in. If you had an automation like that or an automation that scans news items every day or something like that, if your computer was off, it would not be able to execute those things. And not just if your computer is off, but if the actual locally hosted version of N8N is not currently enabled, you're not gonna be able to do that. There are also a couple of features that won't work on a locally hosted machine. The biggest one of these is webhook integration. You're not gonna be able to have any kind of webhooks inside of your locally hosted machine. Now, I don't use webhooks a whole lot in my automations, but if you did, and I could see circumstances where you would need that, it's definitely something that you would want a, a different solution rather than a locally hosted option. Another advantage though, is that hosting locally is more uh, private and secure. So as long as you keep everything 
on your your actual system, you don't have to worry about your data getting into the hands of other people and stuff like that. Unlike the cloud solution, which basically you're you're putting all of your automations, your data, all of that is hosted in an, a cloud system that you do not control. All right, so let's actually get this installed on your computer. The first thing you will need is a program called Docker Desktop. And here's the website here. I will make sure there's a link to this down below. All you need to do is come here. This is not something that you need to worry about pricing or anything. You just go come here to download Docker Dex Desktop and you wanna choose the one that is right for your computer. So if you have a uh, Mac, you would choose one of these. If you have a Windows, you choose one of these. If you have Linux, you can choose this one. For most of you, if you're on a PC, you're going to be using this one that says AMD 64 uh, and you'll go ahead and download that and then you simply install that program on your computer and then once it's installed it will ask you to close and restart your computer so go ahead and do that now now once your docker is installed you just come and search for docker and load it up and it will ask you to set up an account but you don't actually need this so you can just go ahead and and uh, skip fill in any information you have here or just skip it. All right, and once you're in, it'll look something like this. And over here on the left, you'll see a number of options here. You wanna make sure to navigate to images and then say search images to run. And then from here, do a search on N8NIO. And this is the one that you want to run right here. From here, you wanna select pull in order to download this image. All right, so our next step is that we wanna create a container inside of Docker, inside of this image. So here you'll see this little play button right here that says run, go ahead and click on that. And then it'll say run a new container and there are some optional settings here. I recommend giving it a name. You can't have spaces in this name, so make sure you use like an underscore or something like that. I'm just gonna call this N8N underscore test and then give it a host port now by default it, it'll show 5678 over here you can just use that number 5678 right there and hit run and once it's finished that you go here to containers up in the left menu and you'll see it'll have a number here under ports if you click on that number, it'll bring you to the setup to set up your account. And here you just set it, enter in your email, your first name, last name, and password, and you will be into N8N. So that is everything that you need to know. Now, if you walk through these steps exactly like I've shown it to you and it's not working like, I sh like it works for me, perplexity is your friend. Use perplexity or any other search based AI tool and say like that you're trying to set up N8N locally and explain the problem that you're running into, there's a very good chance it will be able to help you troubleshoot the issue. All right, so let's talk now about the third option. This is the actual option that I recommend for most people, as long as you're willing to pay just a little bit more than free, because uh, the free option is obviously installing it locally on your computer, but there is a way that you kind of get the best of both worlds, best of the cloud version, which has some advantages, but it's really expensive and best of the uh, cheaper option, putting it locally on your computer. And that is having your own cloud server that you install N8N on. So essentially it's a local install, but on a different server, meaning a server different than your actual home computer. And there are a couple of different advantages to this. The main advantage is that uh, that issue that I told you about the locally hosted option being that it it isn't always on is not an issue when you're hosting it on your own server. So if you have it on a server, you can run automations whenever and it'll be always on essentially, unless there's a problem with the serving a hosting service that you're using or something like that. Additionally, you get all of the same privacy and security advantages of having it installed locally because it's still that your server it, it's not on somebody else's server. It's still one that you currently are essentially renting out. Plus, even though it's not free, it is gonna be a substantial discount from what you would get through N8N's actual software as a service provider. So if we go back and look at what the N8N cloud version is, you're gonna be paying at least $24 a month, if not 60. And there is a, another web hosting option that I recommend uh, called Hostinger. And this is not sponsored by Hostinger or anything. I did reach out to them to see if they would sponsor a video, but I never heard back. And so I'm just doing this uh, free for them. Um, and the reason I recommend Hostinger is you'll notice even at the top of their homepage, they have a option here for self-hosted N8N. 
Uh, Hostinger has been really good about making this a very seamless process, which is why I'm recommending them. Uh, but what you do, if we go here to pricing, you can see what the pricing option looks like. So this is essentially the same as hosting your own website. And you can even use this to host a website and host N8N if you want. But if you come up to this pricing and select N8N VPS, these are just the VPSs that they recommend for N8N, you can select uh, as low as $4.99 a month for the this option. I would probably get something with just a little bit more oomph for $6.49 a month. Um, that said, the only way to get it at that low price is to opt into 24 months, uh, which is what I have done. Now, if you wanted to go month to month, it would be a little bit more expensive at $7.99 or $9.99 for one of these two plans. Uh, almost certainly you will not need one of these higher plans. I've been on the KVM2 plan. I've never had any problems with any then overloading the server or anything like that. And honestly, you could probably make do with the KVM1 plan as well. But to get the best prices, you crank it up to 24 months worth and buy it all at once for, for two years. And that's what I did. And even though that sounds like a lot that you're paying for all at once, it was still uh, less than just a couple of months of the cloud hosted option. And so I find this to be a incredible deal given that you get almost all of the advantages of the N8N cloud, as well as a lot of the advantages of self-hosting. The only disadvantage that this one has to self-hosting is that it does cost a little, but as you can see, it's not really a whole lot. And this is certainly a lot less than you'd pay for Novelcrafter or Pseudorite or any of these other AI writing tools. So if you want to use what I think is to be the, the best option here, this is the one I would go with, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with going with the other two options. This is just what I do. And if you're really strapped for cash, you can absolutely do the local install thing. Or if you're unsure about what you want, you can try the local install thing. But if you want to go this way, all you have to do here is select choose plan. Then you'll go through the purchase process. As you can see, this is only $155 for two years which is a really good price in my opinion. Like I said, three months of the uh, pro plan here in N8N would be more than that. And here you're getting two years for the same price, for less than the same price. Uh, so you go through this and then, and I'm not gonna show it here because I already have this, but you just select N8N here and then walk through the process and it will be installed for you, ready to go. It's a much simpler process than going through Docker and all of the stuff I showed you on installing locally. So this is definitely the way I would go if you're kind of like, you don't want the whole technical hassle and you're okay to pay a little bit of money for it. I think this is a, a good option. So that's just my thoughts there. But like I said, there are reasons why you might want the other two options. The cloud version is good for like really robust uh, businesses and enterprises. The local install is probably good for a lot of people as long as you're willing to go through a little bit more of a technical setup and uh, maybe if you don't have a lot of money, you really want the free version, then that's fine. You can absolutely do that. And you don't mind that uh, it's not gonna be always on and all of that sort of thing. But if you want the best of both worlds, I think going through Hostinger, again, not sponsored, uh, not even affiliate really, uh, is I, I think the best middle ground for this in terms of ease of use, ease of getting it set up, uh, related to price and as as well as the features that it has options for because you remember I mentioned that you can't do webhooks in a locally hosted option you can do them in a uh, using a, a service like Hostinger plus it's a one click install so I just think that's a no brainer for me personally so those are my thoughts on that those are the three ways that you can get N8N installed and ready to go in the next video we're going to actually start setting some of the the basics up in N8N so that you can actually start your automations. I know some of you are probably a little impatient and want me to actually get to the fun stuff, the actual automations themselves, but there are a couple of key things that if you don't do them, you're gonna be very confused. So we're gonna do a little bit more of that setup in the next video, and I will see you then.